on the internet. How you doing guys and welcome back to the part 2 of the Miami Boat Show and in case you missed part 1, well, we got up early in the morning and jumped on the metro rail to show you guys an easier way to get there. This only applies if you live on the west side of Dade County. We hopped on the Palmetto Station and got dropped off downtown Miami and transferred over to the metro mover. And this ride took us about 30 minutes but no traffic or hassles in parking. The Metro Rail left us right in front of the Miami Herald slash Venetian Causeway location and we hit it right in. And we also got to meet up with Gustavo from Alamar Miami YouTube channel. And from here we decided to go over to the convention center on the ferry service. Again, avoiding the lines and the high traffic on the road. And from there we jumped on the golf carts and headed over to the convention center and worked our way up to the second floor where they have a lot of marine products being on display and met up with a few unexpected friends and got to check out the new grills for the boats and camping and while doing this i ran into a few fans and subscribers at the show and again they were asking me why are they not seeing my videos on the recommended and that is because you don't have your notifications turned on to all and from here we headed downstairs to the suzuki booth where we met up with Ruben from Reliable Marine where we got to see a special revealing of the new Suzuki models called the Stealth Edition. And if you guys want to see the complete full detailed video of part 1, it's going to be on the link below or at the end of this video. Check this out guys, I've never seen this before. A four wing catamaran. I'm going to have to take a look inside and check it out because I want to get a catamaran in the future so I think this one might work. Let's go inside and check it out. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure to subscribe to help grow the channel. And if you want to keep up with the daily activities of Fresco Channel, make sure to subscribe to Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Alright guys, so this is a 36 footer. Uh, Catamaran, oh, okay. This is a bow rider top. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a full cabin. Okay, okay, so, but just take a look anyway. Look at it. Oh, I love the lounging area. Now, you can't compare it to the big boats that I did in the Bahamas, but I think this is pretty cool. I love the sleek, sporty design. I like the window. You know what, let's, let's just jump in the, in the cabin. Let's check it out. I'm curious. Let me see. Oh, I like the head. Nice head. Separate shower. I like it that it's using all fiberglass, meaning you can get the whole bathroom wet. Don't have to worry about nothing. Not bad at all. I like it. Pretty comfy. Not bad. So remember, this is a 36 footer. So this is one room, right? Look at that. Pretty nice. Let's go check out the other side. This is two, two sides to the cat. So, let's go check out the other side. You know what, guys? And I was planning to take a look at more catamarans at the boat show. But, you know, I got carried away doing other things. But look at that. It has two heads. This is awesome. Loving it. I like it. it has a little seat. I think this is pretty cool. I think this is a new model. Here it is. The other bed. Now, this is something pretty cool. I like it. I like it, it's pretty nice. Check it out. I notice every room has its own AC. I like that. So this is a this is like I want to call it a weekender. It's pretty cool. You have people, yes. Check it out. Look at that. This is my wife Jenny. Look at that. It's cool. And it has the other side. The outside fridge. Check it out. Seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have. Do you know uh, Boat US? Yes. So, uh, well, on the Vanderbilt ship? Ah, yeah. that's good. Very good. Okay. I do the government affairs work. Yeah. Okay. And David is an avid sailor. And, uh, sailor and, uh, and I got what everybody wants to know, the price. What do you think about it? So where are we at? 
So we are at the Miami International Boat Show. Welcome to day one here at the beautiful Intrepid Power Boats booth. <laughs> you have to check out these dogs here with their sunglasses. Ooh, yes, these are the coolest <laughs> dogs I've seen. Wow, what's his name? Willie. Willie? Willie and Jax. What's up, Jax? Yeah, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you want to Willie's cards. Oh, okay. Oh, he's, th he's that famous. Okay, look, guys. He's so famous, he's got his card. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're here at Intrepid with Kimberly, right? Kimberly, yes. Kimberly, and we're gonna ask her, what's the cruising speed of the 47 Evolution? <laughs> well, I say, I, I don't know that question, but you want I get um, call that some person. Okay guys, does it really even matter what the information is? It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. I know the price. What's the price? The price is 1.8. This uh, boat is 47 Evolution. It's available. It's a 2022. It's a pre-owned. So guys, if you want to yeah, take your home, come in to Intrepid. <laughs> there you go guys. So if you come to the Miami Boat Show, come stop at Intrepid and say hi to Kimberly. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at the beautiful boat. Look at this, okay, look at this. The head is over here, right? Now, look at this now, ready? You ready for this, right? You ready for this? You ain't ready. Here it is, look at that. One room's there, and another room is right there. I know you wasn't ready for that. This is one amazing boat, but we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna keep going. Who do we have here? The beautiful ladies from Worldcraft. <laughs> They're the oh. best salesmen. Cause look, they just dragged me into the into the. Exactly, booth. that's the best thing we do. <laughs> now we're gonna take a look at this new, unique design by Worldcraft. What? And honestly, I'm really curious to look inside because this is not your typical Worldcraft. It kind of reminds me of an axle part. And this is a 43 footer, and the sticker price is a million two point nine. All right, this is something different from Worldcraft. Power? Triple three fifths. I like the name. Oh, yeah. Okay. Something definitely different from Worldcraft. So I like it. You know what time it is, right? Yeah, you know what time it is. Now, this is pretty different. Definitely different from Worldcraft. Look at that. I love all the windows. Wow, the galley's awesome. You have here, outside, in the sitting area, and in the home. I like it. I like it. Oh, look at this, guys. Sunroof. And let's go check out what I like. You know what I like, right? Let's go check it out. Oh, the bed is big. I like this. Oh, check this out. Look at the head. Hmm, this is full of surprises. I like it. Now let's go check out how many people are asleep. Oh, look at this. Wow, this is really a surprise. Look at that. This is huge down here. Look at that. Wow, this is really big down here, guys. Look at that. 
Well, what does it have here? I wonder what's here. Oh, another head. So it has two heads. It's two bedroom, two bath. It's a two bedroom, two bath. Pretty cool. Something really, really different from Warcraft. Yep. Now, you know what? They have a smaller one, and I think it's trailable. So I'm gonna go check that out. So let's go check on, let's go check, check on that model, okay? Let's go. This one has triple 300. And this is a 35 footer with a sticker price of 650,000. Okay, this one's a little different. A lot of windows. Cool thing, I guess you could drive with the AC on all day. Pretty cool. Another. Check out the main room. That I think this one just has one room. Let's check this. What is that? I guess, I guess it must be the head. Okay, so this one it's a 36 footer. But it only has one room. Now that makes it difficult for me and the family room, right? So I guess this one won't work for us. Yeah. That almost too big because it's too trailable. Yeah. This one won't work for us. But it's pretty cool though. I like it. Look at that. We actually come out through here. And go to the front. Look at that. Maybe the kids go sleep out here. <laughs> Well, what do you guys think about this new design for Wellcraft? And I've noticed a lot of boat manufacturers are leaning towards a European Italian design. Me, I still like traditional. And now we're gonna hop off Wellcraft and walk around and, and see what else we can jump into. Something else we haven't seen before. And we have found something new well at least to me because i haven't seen this brand in south florida it's called salara boats and just taking a quick look i found something that caught my eye right away can you guys guess what it is guys let's check out this 31 foot Solera and look at this this already got me right here because you know what time it is right what time is you know what time it is check it out this is pretty cool I like this and look at this for the kids you know the kids you know they like fishing and look at that this is pretty cool this is like a all the way all the way around family boating if you do fishing put a big stereo system then now it comes a party check it out you stay away from the sun and look at that I like this. Look at that. That is really cool. Man, look at the captain thing. Look at the helm. Now, this is awesome. Look at that. Unique in its own. Look at that. I like the windshield. And that the cool thing about it, you close everything and you have this whole area in AC. Check out the front. Check out the front. Let's go check out the front. Look at the hangout spot. The cushions come out and you can have a, uh, you know, oh, look at that. Right there has a stereo, I guess, controller, so you get crank it up or turn it down. Oh, look at this. Another sunscreen. I like that right there. Look at that. So if it rain, thunder, don't matter. You ain't gonna get wet. That's the cool part about that. So look at that. And then this, you could close it too. Then you have a little hangout spot. And the cool thing about this boat is trailer, which is 31 foot. I think the beam is 10 foot. So it makes it pretty good. Oh, look at this. This actually flips. You go forward or backwards. Let's check out the cabin. What's up with that? All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, okay. So the center comes up and becomes a table or a giant bed. Maybe you can sleep three people. Oh, I like this little window there. And it has another window there. Oh, let's check out the head. Oh, pretty roomy. Oh, look at this. Access to the stuff back there. Wow, it's pretty, pretty nice. Look at the head nice nice what's like i want to call these oh look at that 
you actually get light from there. So this becomes like a, want to call it a weekender? Or got a power outlet right there. Oh, the boom boom system. So, oh, got a little sub right there. So it's uh, pretty cool. You can actually, uh, you know, spend the, the weekend on here. You know, maybe three people. It's nice. Oh, look at that, it has a reverse camera. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Chiller. I like this here. So it's like an outside boat. Look at the fridge. Has a fridge there? Oh, has a sitting there. I think this becomes a seat too. Yeah, both of these fold out. Yeah, this it's becomes a, a seat. Another a fridge pack. there. Oh, another seat there. This oh, this is storage under here. Let me see. This comes up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. Lots of storage. Up. I like this. I don't know. Pretty cool. What do you guys think? I think this is like a. Oh look, it has a sunroof here too. Oh, it has a actual sunroof that opens. Check it out. It opens up. So not bad, huh? Let me know what you guys think. Pretty cool. Honestly, this is the best part I like here. You know me, I'm always eating. So this is the best part. Some sausages and steaks right there, hamburgers. Right there, oh, that's storage. I don't know what this is. Let's check it out. Oh, I guess it's, oh, access hatch. Pretty cool. And it's powered by twin, twin what, Yamaha? 300. Not bad at all. And what everybody wants to know is the price. It's 384. And what do you guys think about the bold design amenity and price all right guys we gotta get going I almost got closed in in the in the boat show we gotta get out of here we gotta go home we'll be back on Saturday and uh I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go Whew. it was awesome they had the boat show I was more talking and meeting people than showing you guys both sorry about that and sorry for those guys that I get get you guys on camera uh, but it was just meeting a lot of people it was awesome another great year here for the Miami Boat Show I'll be back on Saturday it's crazy it was good hanging out with Alamar Suzuki booth I got all that free food yes you know me I gotta have that food and awesome for the new Suzuki that matte black is uh looks nice for the 40 boats so whew. Va a ser día con Alamar en el Miami Boat Show. Comimos gas, él come más que yo, para que la gente que no lo no, sepa. No, <risa> no, yo estaba transmitiendo en directo. <risa> no, yo estaba comiendo era yo. Nada, señor, oye, esto no se acaba, vamos, vamos a ver, vamos a ver si no nos vamos a ver hasta que nos voten de aquí. So we have to wait for the passengers for our turn. So we're here waiting for the water taxi, and it's a different experience this year with all of us. Chileteando aquí todos los días por la tarde y nos cogió el sol. En el mar nos fuimos, en el mar nos fuimos, estamos en el mar. Vamos, sí, mira, vamos a coger el agua ahora. So we just boarded the ferry going back. We're going back into time. And you guys have experienced a different side of the Miami Boat Show. And we did it together for the first time. We took the Metro Rail to the Metro Mover and landed right in front of the Venetian Causeway location. Then we jumped on the ferry and headed over to the convention center and also got to get an awesome golf cart ride there. And you guys got to witness their revealing of the new Suzuki stealth models. And also got to hang out and meet in person Magma Barbecue guys. Because without them, we can't have sausage time we also got to see the new models for worldcraft and a new brand to miami solara boats and this is only our first day here at the miami boat show but don't go away and stay tuned for more videos because we came back again and let me know in the comments which video you like the most part one or part two and what part of them and for those people that i met at the boat show don't worry i'm making a separate videos for you guys or put you guys in the third part i have to see how my editing goes and also if you know people that wanted to come but couldn't make it to the miami boat show make sure you share the videos with them so don't go anywhere stay tuned for more